Hey, what's up, doers? It's Rick with Cali Heat. <clears throat> um, I want to talk to you guys today about just the consistency about eBay and about like the reality of it. Like I said, I want to keep this channel real and raw and just show you guys the real ups and downs of eBay and online selling and whatnot. So because this, I feel like a lot of people just show the positives, which is great. It gives you motivated, you know, gets you pushing and whatnot. But you also need to expect yourself and prepare yourself for those times that are slow and what to do or whatnot. So a perfect example is my sales of the past week have been really, really slow. So um, I'm going to show right now I'm just checking. So the last two days, so I sold something March 10th and then I sold the next day I sold, it was on March 13th, two items, and then a whole five days until I sold something yesterday. So <clears throat> sales have pretty much, they, I was selling about one or two things a day. I mean, it seems now the average is about three to four days something selling. Um, it's not lack of inventory. Uh, I've stocked up, I've actually kind of cut back. I wanted to see, um, uh, as far as spending money going out and trying to find new stuff, new merch and whatnot, new stuff to fill up the inventory. So I took a, so I decided to take about three to five days off just to kind of see stuff moving so I can get that um, that revenue coming back in so I can use that money to go in and then go back out because I don't want to keep burying a hole, a hole, a hole without seeing anything in return. So, um, and also the other thing I started doing was I started doing um, drop shipping and I started doing online by merch. I actually got approved. So <clears throat> um, it took me actually about a week to get approved, a little bit less than a week to get approved with uh, merch by Amazon, which is great because I've been hearing crazy stories about eight months up to a year. And um, I'll talk in a little bit of video about, you know, my beginning struggles with that because literally I just started. Um, I don't even have 10 uh, shirts up. I don't even have one sale yet. So I want to show you guys a track and show you guys the progress of how really it is and you know the the struggles of whatnot with what I'm doing so and the growth and the success that I'm doing as well so drop shipping is another one I'm gonna talk about in another video as well um, <clears throat> but pretty much I just wanted to keep you guys real about eBay about my sales and how it's gone and even though yeah I sold 25 a little bit over 2530 days um, it's a little bit over 30 days I think it's like about a week or within a week of the 30 days and just to go show you guys, my sales are not what it was when it first took off. So um, I, I don't know what it is. I've changed my keywords. Um, I've researched the price to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm priced accurate, I'm priced within. Um, and the other thing I kind of have an idea is um, a lot of stuff that I'm realizing. So <clears throat> I get, like I was telling you guys, I get a lot of my stuff on uh, at Marshalls and at Ross. So one thing Jesse and I noticed is when we post something that we get, let's say from Marshalls, we'll check eBay and then all of a sudden within that week, it'll get flooded because every reseller, everybody's doing the same thing as we're doing. So they flood the market. And one thing we noticed is certain Marshalls will have lower prices than other Marshalls and vice versa. It was same with Ross. And if, let's say I get a pair of, Nikes at my Marshalls for 50 bucks. That's another person can get that same pair at their Marshalls for 34.99, so 35 bucks. So they can actually beat me in the pricing because they have more room to lower down that price and make the same profit as me. So one thing that's one thing we learned is uh, not try to flood or try to get everything that's hot that's stocked up. So we've been realizing that. So because we kind of see this things that we stocked up on that it's flooded it's really not moving so hopefully it will move um, I'm sure it will move we just got to be patient and that's pretty much it that's all pretty much what I want to talk to you guys about if you guys have any questions concerns or comments just leave it below and I'll try to hit you guys back up the best way I can all right guys get out there and do it because you guys are doers all right man bye